So here in Final Cut Pro 10, we're going to have a look at how we create a split screen. Now we're going to do this manually. Uh, the nice thing about this is it means you can really control your edits. Um, you're not relying on someone else's pre-built effect to create your split screen. It may take a little bit longer um, to start with, but essentially um, you'll have a lot more control um, over your edit uh, once you've created it in this way. So the first thing we're going to do is stack up a few clips. So I'm just going to drag some of these short clips down to my timeline here, and we will use these uh, for the basic kind of split screen. So I'm stacking them up and we'll just scroll up here. So I'm going to shorten these uh, so they're all the same length. I'm not too worried about the edits at the moment, just about getting the, the split screen. I can always trim things or modify things a little bit later once we've worked on this a bit more. So once I've got those selected, um, so I've got about four seconds of, of clip here. I'm just gonna hold down Shift and tap Z just so that I can see all those clips um, together stacked up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just select all these clips and come up to the top right and we're gonna change in the inspector the scale. So if you don't see the inspector on the top right, then just come to Window, Show in Workspace and check Inspector or Command of Four. And then we can go to Scale, type in 50, so 50%, and that will change the scale of all the clips we had selected. And then what we need to do is position them. So we want to position these so that they're all on the top left corner, and then we can modify those positions so that they're in a split screen. So essentially the way this works um, is that we need to think about the size of our edit here. So at the moment our edit is 1920 by 1080, um, and we need to divide that by four. So basically, to align things to the top left, we need to make the X value minus 480, and then we need to make the Y value minus 270. So minus 480 um, and minus 270. So with all these selected, I'm gonna pop up here and type in minus 480, which will move all these to the left. Um, and we're getting this pixel perfect, which is nice. It means everything's gonna be nice and crisp and tight to the edge, and then minus 270 and that will bring them in fact down so actually we could uh, first of all put this as 270 rather than minus 270 to bring it up um, to the top of the the screen there now we need to just go through each one of these and modify them so if i highlight one clip here i'm going to change one of my 270s into a minus 270 which is going to bring it down to the bottom here go down to the next clip and I'll change my minus 480 into a simple 480. It's gonna bring it across to the, the top right. And then for this last one at the bottom, I'm gonna change this from minus 480 to 480 and minus 270. So these measurements will be the same if you're using 1920 by 1080 HD footage. Now once we've added these, if we add extra clips onto our timeline, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here, then we can quickly create um, the same effect by using the copy and paste attribute. So I'm just going to drop some more clips and oh, that's the same one. Okay. So now I have these four clips, and all I'm gonna do here is come to the clip directly before this next clip that's aligned to the top left. If we hover over it, we can see that clip on its own. It kind of solos it. We can copy that, select our next clip, and then go to Edit, Paste Attributes. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna paste the position and the scale. That's all we've changed so far. So we can paste the position and the scale, and then do the next clip down, Edit Copy or Command and C, select the next clip, Edit Paste Attributes or Shift Command V, and then we can just hit Enter or Paste, click Paste, and then we can do Command C, Shift Command V, and Paste, and Command C, and Shift Command V, and Paste. So now we have an edit um, for that split screen. On our connected clips here, if we now click on these two clips, we can use Command and G to group those. So they're a connected storyline. And we can do that for all the layers 
And the advantage of doing that means that we can now edit these separately to the main timeline. So what's nice about this now, you can see we can, we've got that nice level of control where we can control exactly where our edits take place um, as we're working with this. So we'll be able to time things with the music, um, with the action in the shots, without having to rely on someone else's built-in uh, split screen. So one other thought here um, for this kind of classic split screen setup is how we might use different effects for different parts of the split screen. So I'm going to remove my scale attributes from this clip and just send it back to the original size. Okay, so I'm going to reset the position and the scale. And in this instance, what I'm going to do instead of actually rescaling that is I'm going to crop it um, from the, the left here by 50% of the size. So this is 1920 by 1080. So half the size here is going to be 960, and we can just type that in there. So that means now if we drag this clip up to the top, we're going to get this nice effect now where we get half the screen as one clip and then this split screen on the left hand side. So we can play around with and work with different techniques, either scale and position or cropping to create different types of split screens in this way. I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.